This is the way your EG4 should look like on the bottom. See down there. Yes. Cut them in half on the eight foot four by fours. Set down roughly 20 inches. And if you look, I've got the little bolt end resting on the end of it. So that'd be my maximum downward angle is what I, where I'm at right now. It'd be raised upwards but it can't go down any further the way it is. And that's on purpose. These are the little ground wire clips that come in the package. Keeps your wire all nice and tidy against the rail. This one looks like a Ethernet, and this one looks like a USB-B, like a printer cable, and this is on the V2 EG4 LL. Hey, we just hooked up the PV panels, got the breaker on. Sixty volt. Ten three hundred and eighty watt Silfab panels on the EG four bright mount rack. Got two extra spots for future panels. Okay, since I've got a three thousand watt inverter with five thousand max input. I'm doing these in series. So if you look down through here, each panel is connected male, female, male, female. So on all the way down the string. Okay, everything is set up on the inverter breaker box. Goes down to an outlet and uh, that 6.3 goes to a transfer switch along the main breaker. We have three EG4 LL V2 batteries. If you're curious on the setup of the battery there, battery communication on the first battery, it hits the bottom on that one, top on that one. One through three. Uh, dip switches are actually what they say in the manual, so you really don't have to worry about that. Uh, pick up one of these Nader breakers if you do not have one. This one's a 500 volt. Uh, Amazon for less than $20. I can't remember exactly how much it was. If you're getting a flashing P, whenever you first set up the EG4, that's because it's trying to be set up in parallel. Uh, what you do is go down here and press the standby button, which is the off. So you'd switch it to off. Turn off your solar. 
turn off your batteries, leave 120 volt plugged in, then go to your menu and change it from parallel to single. Um, other than that, everything's pretty much basic. You know, you got your PV in, your battery in, uh, AC in, and uh, then we have the wires AC out going over here to a breaker box. We've got one breaker that comes down to outlets, and we got one breaker that goes up and over down to the floor and goes back up to where my main breaker is, and it goes to the transfer switch. Um, transfer switch has six slots. Let's go take a look at it. Okay, there is the transfer switch. It is a Reliance Pro Trans 2. It's six circuit, but it's 50 amp. You do not want the 30 amp. That means every circuit in here will be at 30 amps. Uh, I got the 50, that way there is actually more room and it goes over into the main breaker panel. This is kind of the secret sauce to an off grid. This way you can switch it back and forth from solar to grid and not have any problems. So if your batteries are running low, you just switch it down to grid and not have to worry about a thing. I put a link down in the description for where I bought all of this from Signature and uh, all the different parts and pieces. Uh, there is a lot of expense in the conduit, the wiring, and breaker boxes, transfer switch, and all that. Um, it, if you go on Amazon and look for one of these transfer switches, uh, most of them are 30 amp. Um, that means that everything all together, the max is 30 amps. Uh, I got the 50 amp version like I described. Um, that's just my personal preference. I don't want to overload anything. Make sure you're not going to overload anything. Any which way you go. But other than that, solar is not that hard to install. So with some friends that had no idea about solar and just me watching YouTube videos for the last few years and just reading the directions, worked out just great. So if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. So everything is set up, everything is working, and there has not been one issue. Um, I can go two to three days easily without any solar input. So having those three batteries has made a, just a huge difference. My entire house is running off this. Uh, so you got stand-up freezer, refrigerator, microwave, kitchen lights, uh, living room lights, TV, computer, boosters, everything in tech, uh, bathroom, washing machine, all of that is on this system. So that 3000 watt uh, inverter, the EG4 EHV, will run a small household, the 110 volt side. Plans are to get another one and do a 240, add some more panels, and maybe another battery or so. But overall, I am ecstatic on what this is doing and the cost savings. Um, everything was bought through Signature Solar, and uh, any, any questions I had, they replied back to them. So it's a very good company to deal with. Um, if you have any questions, put it in the comments. This was a full install video, so I know it kind of drug out, but uh, showing everything kind of helps.